Hello, beautiful twin flames. I felt called to pull cards today from the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards by Doreen Virtue. And we're going to be interpreting the signs and kind of symptoms of what you're experiencing right now and make a little bit more headway into clarity there. So we'll see what comes out. All right, so here we have the cards. And um, just so you know, we just passed through a new moon. So yesterday was the new moon, at least when this recording was made. Yesterday was the new moon in Taurus, I believe. And um, the next new moon that we will have will be um, right after the spring equinox, or sorry, right after the summer solstice. Um, it's... A really good time for new beginnings. It's a good time for feelings. Um, if you're having trouble feeling your feelings, if you're feeling like you're kind of numbed out, this is a good time for you to feel those feelings again because you need the feelings in order to be able to move through the blocks and challenges in your heart. So let's bring some clarity here. See what's going on. Okay, so we've got in the Gods and Goddesses deck, we've got Bridget. Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. And then we've got Artemis, the guardian. You and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. So this is really about um, something in your union that you don't like, um, that you know is not of God. There's been this kind of tendency that you've had to uh, like just settle with it or just deal with it, not in the sense of moving forward, but just kind of like um, allowing something that is not divine to be there because you don't see a way forward or you don't you don't know how to resolve it. And so this card for with both Bridget and Artemis together are communicating that you're safe and supported to stand up for what you believe in, whether that's your harmonious and flame union, whether that's... Um, you know, claiming your boundaries, whether that's uh, you not not taking the back seat when you're supposed to be in the front seat, whether that's in a career um, or or elsewhere, right? So it's time for you to let go of this idea that you can get you can get attacked or hurt if you express your desires or your boundaries clearly. No more cowering. No more walking on eggshells or tiptoeing around. This is what this is talking to you about. So are you willing to make the decision to really speak out and, and stand up for yourself? When you start to claim yourself and stand for what you believe in, you're going to build trust with yourself. You're going to build loyalty to yourself. And when you are loyal to yourself, because your twin flame is your divine mirror, you're going to see that mirrored back to you. So let's keep moving forward. What else would the goddesses like to tell us? Okay. We have Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. Good. I want to talk a little bit because um, in one of my twin flame groups, we were talking about the divine feminine. Like what is divine masculine? What is divine feminine energy? And uh, many of you have heard that divine feminines are receiving. But there are two facets to that divine feminine energy. It's a receiving and overflowing energy. It is a giving energy too, but the way that the divine feminine gives is by overflowing or blossoming or blooming or shining or radiating, right? It's not like a, a, a direct like arrow. It's more like an overflowing energy. You're designed to give. You're not designed to overgive or give in a codependent way, but you're designed to shine and bloom and blossom. It's, you know, it's as if the rose just receives a whole bunch of water and sunlight and then just kind of keeps closed. That wouldn't make sense. The rose is designed to bloom and so are you. So that's why this is all about um, 
increasing your intuition and energy, and that is your ability to give to others. Um, and if you can see on this card, there's <laughs> there's like overflowing mother's milk going down the mountain. It's it's kind of a funny card there, but we've got Aphrodite, the inner goddess. So the bottom of the card says. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. I'm not sure if it's going to help us focus on that, but that is your card. Okay, there we got some more light on it. There. And you should be able to see it better. Um, and so this is a really beautiful picture with Aphrodite and a whole bunch of garlands. So this is a really good opportunity for you to... Remember that when you receive, you're designed to radiate and feel at peace. And, you know, nobody's attracted to somebody who's like completely stressed out and hasn't taken a bath for weeks, right? If you're stressed out, something's, something's going on. You're not designed to be stressed out. And it's not a matter of you, you know, stopping work and, and just, you know, not work at all and stay in your room and sleep. That's not the antidote to de-stressing. You're stressed not because of the things you're doing, but because of how you're thinking about the things that you're doing. So just a, a little, a word from me, I work about 85 hours a week, but the work that I do doesn't feel like work. It feels joyful. Um, I work at a university during the day, during the weekdays, and I coach Twin Flames and I do card readings at nights and on weekends. And I just love that. And for me, it doesn't feel like work, even though I'm giving of myself a lot. Like I'm giving 100% of myself into what I do. But I'm not stressed by it because it feels good to do. And so if you're feeling stressed, you'll need to start doing the inner work. Like, for example, the mirror exercise to like help you get back to this state, right? help you get back to feeling your creative best and adorning yourself, right? Like it's not about like materialism, but there's something to be said about how you're loving your body by adorning your body, your face, your hair with things that are creatively for you. Let's keep going. We got a, we got a few here. Okay, what's coming out? Ustara fertility is the perfect time for you to start new projects, access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. Ooh, good. That's very much aligned with new moon energy. Aine, leap of faith. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. I'll, I want to give you some tips for that one in just a minute. We've got Mave, circle and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. And I just love how she's, you know, got this, like, staff here. I can't, I can't tell what she's doing in this picture. Um, but there's northern lights in the back, I believe. It's a really cool card. I really like that. Very cool. Okay. So, how do, oh, these are pretty. They're all, like, purple. I like that. These are gorgeous cards, actually. Um, so, it's... It's really about you like starting to surf the rhythms of your week, of even your month, and not hold on to the past. Like if, if in the past you felt this surge of energy and you know, like a windfall of abundance came in and then now it just seems like um, it's not there, don't worry. You're in a cycle, right? There's a cycle and a rhythm um, but you keep moving and you need to, in order to move forward and let this all flow better, you need to let go of the past, of what you received in the past, of, of you know, oh, I got a text message from my twin flame five months ago, but now there's nothing. Let go of that text message. That's not, you're not meant to hold on, right? If you want to have more, open your heart. Take a leap of faith into the truth of love for you. You deserve to be with your twin flame in harmonious union, and it all depends on you. You create your reality by what you're thinking and believing and choosing within. And so if you're not believing that, that you have the creative power to be with your twin flame, then that's what you're going to experience. 
maybe some of you are like, well, I need proof, right? Well, I can show you proof. There are tons of twin flames that have come into harmonious twin flame union. And even myself, I'm living with Josh now under the same roof in peace, right? We're, we're not spiraling off in opposite directions. Like we, we healed the core blocks that were separating us from being together um, and recognizing that we were one, right? And so it's safe for you to take the path to get there. There's just a path between you and and what you desire. And it's safe for you to jump on that path, to take a leap of faith. And so some of you, I hope, I want to really be clear on what I'm talking about here, because I don't want you to misinterpret what I'm saying. What I'm not saying is have faith and believe in your heart and then sit on your couch and wait for your twin flame to show up at your door. That's not what this is. It is about you having faith that you can do it, right? Imagine if you wanted to get a PhD you don't just say, I have faith that I can get a PhD and wait for um, the president of the university to knock on your door and give you the diploma. No, you have faith that you can get a PhD and you begin to walk the steps in, in your classes, right? You take, you go to a university, you enroll in the university, private or public university, you enroll, you take the classes, you take the courses, you do your homework, you do your reading and your faith keeps you moving on your work, right? This is what I'm infusing in here is it's faith and then steps. For your twin flame, there is a specific set of steps that you can take that will guarantee harmonious twin flame union permanently. So two big words, guarantee and permanently to your ultimate lover in harmony. And that is, it's a threefold path. It's Practicing the Mirror Exercise, and that is found in the book Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover by Jeff and Shalia. The second thing is work with an Ascension Coach. I'm a master certified Ascension Coach. I've worked with countless Twin Flames, and I'd love to help you too. I've got Twin Flame groups right now meeting on Thursday and Saturday. I'd love for you to be a part, and I've got a special deal where you can get your first month of enrollment for a very reduced price. And then the last thing that you'll need is Twin Flame Ascension School. So you'll need to have access to those classes so that you can get the spiritual downloads and information and insights into your Twin Flame Union um, that's divinely channeled. Each and every class will help you heal thousands of layers of blocks from accumulated throughout lifetimes. And they're the reason, all three of those things are the reason that I'm able to live with Josh and sustain living with Josh. Because right now in our world, it's fairly easy to come into union with our twin flames. It's easy to call them in, especially after the big shift in 2012. But it's more challenging to um, keep them around, right? So this school and this practice and coaching helps you to get into spiritual habits of your mind, of your consciousness, and continue to make those choices and feel supported. I'm going to pull a couple more cards. Oop. Awesome. We have Mother Mary. Expect a miracle. Yes. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. So it may be the things that I'm telling you in this video to do. Um, don't, don't write that off. Don't say, oh, it's so expensive. Oh, I don't know if a lot of people, I, I, I want to tell you this, it's not the money that bothers you. It's like you want to know that you're going to make an investment that works. And I can tell you from my experience, and I have had to heal a lot of things that people said are not healable. I've got an age gap in my union. I had cancer. He had an addiction. Um, there's a lot of stuff that people said were unhealable and we healed it, right? And it's when flames where one of them was married to another and now they're in harmonious union. Okay, Eracura, there we go, Eracura, it's bl blooming, blossoming, excuse me, blossoming. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier, especially regarding the divine feminine energy. It's a blossoming and blooming energy. And the bottom of the card, it says, you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself in the process and do not give up. Okay, good. So you're just getting started. So I want to tell those of you who are in my channel for the very first time, um, 
This is a special message for you. And those of you who have been here for a while can listen to because it's always good to hear. So I have something called Twin Flame Pathways, where if you heard what I shared about the mirror exercise and groups and Twin Flame Ascension School, and you don't know where to start, I've broken it down into pathways. We've got the Rose Path, the Emerald Path, the Gold Path, and the Diamond Path. And you can start on any of those that you like. Um, the first being a little bit of a lighter start. And then the diamond path is like the all in go, go bananas on your journey and get, get what you desire more swiftly. Um, so I really want you to check those out on my website, twinflamesheartsdesire.com. Go to pathways um, and let me help take you step by step so that you can really manifest those miracles and not, not leak them away, but keep them forever. So thank you so much. If you like this reading, give it a like and subscribe to my channel and all of the links to the next steps that I was telling you about are underneath the description box under this video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.